Next, we're going to apply conditional formatting. You would apply conditional formatting when you're wanting certain things to, st to stand out, like when a value reaches a certain point or drops below a certain point, you would use conditional formatting. What we're going to do here is we're going to select H4 through H30. So we just highlight those. And here in the Styles grouping, there's this option called Conditional Formatting. I'm going to select Conditional Formatting. I'm going to come to Data Bars. And as you point to the different ones, you can see how the colors change. I want the green gradient, so I'm going to select it. Next, I'm going to select rows F4 through F30. I'm going to go back to conditional formatting, but on these, I'm going to do it just slightly different. In the Styles group, I'm then going to point to Highlight Cells Rule. Then I'm going to select Between. So you select Between. And then you're going to enter a value that you want things to be highlighted when they reach between certain numbers. So I'm going to say 2,000 and 4,000. And I'm going to have it fill it with light red. And then I'm going to say OK. And you'll see how the ones that reach in between those values are in red. If I click in cell F7, F7, and I change this to 3975.55, it changes it to red. Make sure you always save. Now I'm going to go Control Home. That takes me back to A. Cells are not the only things that we can format. We can also format the worksheet itself as far as the tabs. You'll notice that the worksheet that we have active now is Sheet 1. If I click on Sheet 2, it becomes active. Then I can click again on Sheet 1 and it becomes active. I'm going to double click on Sheet 2's tab. And when it does that, it highlights Sheet 2. I can type in budget and hit enter and it accepts it as its name. Next I can right click on budget. I can go to tab color and I can select a color. I can go with let's say bright green, accent 4, If I can find it, bright green, accent 4, and select it. And you'll notice that my tab now it has a color to it. I can double click on Sheet 1's tab, and I can type in actual as its name and hit enter. If I chose to, I could also change its color. You'll notice why budget is not selected. It now is colored instead of just grayed out. If I wanted to put budget in front of actual, I can click on the budget tab. I can drag it with my mouse held down in front of actual and let go. And that reorders my sheets. Next, I can select sheet 3. I can right click on it and I can delete this worksheet so that my workbook, which contains worksheets, only has the two worksheets in it. You can also change your view to page layout and now your layout appears as such. We were working in normal view. Once you're in page layout you can also change your page orientation And you can also change your page margins. Make sure you save your work as you go.